Hey friends, we've got a new version of Music I.O. out. This is version 1.20, and I want to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the new things. First off, start off Music I.O. on both your iOS device and your Mac, and then with a regular sync cable, connect them. In a moment, they'll detect each other, and you've got a connection. This connection will stream both audio and MIDI. Audio goes from iOS to the Mac, MIDI goes both directions. I've got a MIDI keyboard set up here. It's actually hooked up to the Mac. MIDI will go from the keyboard to the Mac over to iOS and we'll be able to play some synthesizers and I'll give you a quick run through. To start off with, I've got Addictive Synth and Animog installed in Music I.O. We can go over here on the Settings tab and we can actually monitor and listen to what's coming in from the iOS device. So on the Settings tab, we can select Addictive Synth. The MIDI connection is very low latency, and it's also the audio's low latency. So the audio is coming from iOS, going to the Mac, playing out of the Mac speakers. We've got four channels. So on the second channel, let's check out what's happening with Animoq. I've selected the Mac to listen to the Animoq channel. Let's pop over to Animoq here. Audio is streaming from one place to the other. No hassle, no fuss, no muss. Now with four channels of audio, you're probably wondering how you're gonna get the audio into your DAW. That's the new thing in version 1.20, is we now support VST and AU plugins and can stream directly into your DAW track. And that's what I've got going on right here. This plugin is installed in Logic. So I'm gonna turn off Mac monitoring. And what's going to happen is the audio will come from the iOS device, go through Music I.O. and into the plugin and onto this track in Logic. So let's listen to Animoq first. It's audio going directly into Animoq and you can watch the level meter. And let's switch over to Addictive Synth. You can mix and match any way you like. Music I.O. has four tracks of audio. You can have four instruments on each track as well as effects. And the audio goes directly into your DAW with no hassle of aggregate devices or any of that stuff. You can check out the new app today. It's available now in the iTunes App Store.